Many of our IQA learners do call us and, and contact the office and they do say, what can be the subject of my IQA observation? Well, as we know, we have two assessors that we need to, to monitor, okay? And we have to see them in their natural working, their, their teaching or assessing role as well. So just behind me, we have a couple of examples uh, with what you can uh, class as an observation, okay? So seeing them within their assessing role, okay? So this could be a teacher, trainer, or assessor delivering a lesson to, to learners. So you could see them in perhaps a teaching role, okay, teaching a class of learners and writing up uh, an observation form. That's absolutely fine. And you could also be an assessor, sorry, see an assessor conducting an assessment, observing a learner. So that could be very much a one-to-one -one assessment as opposed to a classroom of learners there. So that could uh, obviously be a, a, an activity that you monitor. You could also um, observe a trainer or assessor uh, demonstrating their skills. So it could be uh, an assessor who is refreshing uh, and demonstrating their skills to yourself, uh, the IQA. And also another idea could be um, observing the assessor providing verbal feedback to a learner. So this could be in a, a meeting, for example. Okay, so it could be perhaps a portfolio review meeting, a mentor meeting, where the assessor is providing feedback uh, to a learner and you could very much look at their communication skills as an assessor or teacher there. Um, the observation um, in terms of a time should be perhaps between 30 minutes to, to one hour maximum, okay, as you will have to write up an observation form as well, okay. If you do have any questions on uh, the IQA observation on ideas, uh, please do get in contact with the team here at Trainade and we can give you some pointers on uh, an idea for you.